Okay, well, I was really impressed with the way we competed. I thought uh, we really, really earned the opportunities that we got and was excited with, with how hard we played. Uh, see here that we got outshot a little bit, but I thought we really had a lot of great chances. Really, really was impressed with the group and how they worked their tail off. I thought our compete was obvious. We want to keep working to, to get to the net and, and create opportunities for ourselves. The D had really good sticks. I thought we made the lines hard. And uh, PK continues to be a, a real strength of ours. And we were hoping to get that one more shorthanded goal to lead the nation in uh, shorties. Coach, that last goal by Canisius, I mean, obviously a heartbreaker. I mean, late there, you're competing with one of the top teams in the league. Uh, just what was your takeaway of it? I mean, it looked kind of just like a lucky bounce for them. Yeah, 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 I need to look at the tape. Obviously, it happened uh, fast, and so, so I want to look at it a little more. It's, uh, we're, that's, that's what's so exciting about our group and, and why we're so excited to go into the short-term tournament here of, of our league playoff, because we, we believe we're playing really well, and we just keep pushing the, pushing the rock. At some point here, it's going to tip over the other side, and, and we're really going to get rolling. So if, this is, if that's, that is the top team in the league, and we're right there. That, that bodes well for now and, and for the future. Mercy first locked it up for this one now, but uh, not that. Just yeah. let you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, Coach Hunt, uh, Laughlin's goal there. Um, what was your read on that? Because it looked like a combination of a good shot. And he came down on kind of like a one on three. I mean, it seemed like somebody needed to step up there. Yeah. Of course, yeah. the outside. Well, I think it started. We it's four on four. We we had the puck yeah. and. And uh, we made a we made a poor poor pass and poor receiving, and then I agree with you. We need to limit the opportunity to get over the line and, and get that shot. And on the positive side, coach, they, they open the score, and you guys get it right back, uh, tying the game. Just a quick response. Yeah, it was awesome. It's it's really uh, for a long time now we we've, we've responded really well this year, and I thought that was another example of it. And it's nice when you can shorten a team's lead real fast, and, and that was fun. And. Um, in terms of the seating, it's not really completely done now. I have to look at the scores, Coach, but um, you guys will not have a home playoff game. No. Um, just a level of disappointment with that just after the strong start. I mean, you guys finished with, you were here, three wins last year, 11 this year. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a home playoff game. But you were in a position to get there and you didn't get it done. Yeah, I can't, I can't speak to the, uh, it's what's important now. And, and we we had a real good uh, time off. We had a real good week here against Canisius. And, uh, excuse me, team south of the bridge, and uh, you know we're just excited to move forward here with whatever seed we get. So. And then finally, coach, um, senior night, um, your seniors. Yeah. What do you think of them? Yeah, they're they're just a yeah really special group group that uh, I'll forever remember and will forever remember as a staff. And just excited to continue on with them here for as long as possible. We want to win our last game, and uh, they're going to do great things in the world when they move on. That's what we're working to do here. We're. Uh, leadership development uh, organization that happens to have a hockey team and these men are going to go out into the world and make a difference and that's what's really important and exciting.